to tell okay, me you your name to... and this, what the Women's Center is about? Um, my name is Helen. I'm one of the coordinators at the Center for Women and Trans People at U of T. It's a drop-in space for um, women and trans people on campus and in the community to come in. Um, we have different programs and services here. So we have a kitchen, lounge. Um, right now, uh, what's happening is that we have a trans inclusion um, movie night that happens every other week, uh, usually on Tuesdays, um, where we have screenings of films and then around uh, different issues around gender stuff and then um, discussion. Um, and we have a uh, community cooking program, uh, we have a peer support program, volunteer program, so lots of different things like that. Okay, um, are, the, are the people who come here, are they only from the university or from the general public as well? Um, people are from all over. We mostly do have students because we are on campus, but we also have people from the community. So we're open to everybody, um, whoever wants to come yeah. in the space. Okay, so tonight's screening, Paris is Burning. Uh, what makes you decide to screen a particular film? Um, actually, I'm not the good person to ask about that. Um, Claro, who's here, often um, is involved in choosing the film. Uh, or him and also some other people that come and are regulars at this night. So they kind of, kind of decided upon by people who just want to, you know, they just pick a film they want to watch. Oh, does it have to be something to do with transgender? Um, for this particular series, yeah. Yeah, because it's um, wanted to create a space that feels safe for people uh, to come to and also you know, to talk about some of the issues. Okay, so this center, is it open for all women or just uh, women who are uh, gay or transgender? Um, it's open to, well, we actually don't have any policies around anyone coming in. So even um, people who identify with biological men can come in too if they want, as long as they are aware it's a, a space that's centered for, around trans people and women. So, so oh, for, okay. for here, it's, it's open to anybody, any kind of... Um, or trans person. I see. So, but do um do straight women come here at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah we do. just have a mix of people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just it doesn't matter who you are, you can come in, sort of thing. I see. Okay, so um aside from the films, what kind of you mentioned other programs? What kind of programs do you have here? Um, we have a peer support program. It's a volunteer um, program that's uh, with different peer support groups that um, are, I guess, run and facilitated by volunteers that we train um, during the school year. We have um, a community cooking program called the Spice um, on Thursdays. Although in the summer it's just once a month. It's, and during the school year it's actually every Thursday. Um, we have, um, you know, different special events like this one. Um, upcoming, is the Dyke March brunch that we're having um, for Pride. We have um, a community cupboard. We have workshops throughout the year as well on different issues. Um, we have a li resource library around social justice issues. So many different things like that. Okay, well Pride is coming is this week and the weekend. Are, do you have any plans to walk in the march? Or like, what, what, are you, what do you do during Pride um, um, well, parade? Well, usually, I guess annually we have had um, a Dyke March brunch. So actually it's June the, um, I forget which day now, it's the Saturday. I think it's the 28th, June 28th. Um, from 11 to 1 we have a Dyke March brunch. So everyone's welcome to come um, get free brunch and then we go together to the, the uh, Dyke March and, and march in the march with our banner. Okay. Yeah, and it's open to everybody. You know. I see. So, do, do you ever get people who are afraid to come out, or uh, you know, or have problems with uh, the gender? Like they, they think it's a problem rather than something to be proud of. Do you have like you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like people who still consider it a problem when they they they're like a man trapped in a woman's body or a woman trapped in a man's body. Well, I don't know if I'm the best person to ask about that. So, you know, we have all sorts of people who come different levels of. You know, um, acceptance of themselves. Um, in terms of people who are not accepting of other people, we are a space that um, we strive to be inclusive and a safe space for people who are marginalized. So we are very, um, uh, uh, we, for example, with our volunteers, we have an anti oppression training that we require people to go through as well as anti transphobia training. So if you're going to, you know, for people who use a space where not tolerant of, um, of people who are not welcoming to other people just because of, you know, their gender identity, their sexuality, their race, anything like that. Um, okay, so, so you want to, for us to foster a, a space that's safe and anti-oppressive for people who are experience mar you know different marginalities in society. So you want them to feel like this space is like a home, yeah, like uh, comfortable, so they can be themselves instead of hiding, yeah, or being yeah. ashamed of who they are. Yeah, so we're trying to create that kind of space. I mean, it's always 
work in progress because you can't, it's difficult, like, you know, we don't know who comes in and comes out of the space, but we, that's the kind of space we're trying to maintain. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for this uh, short uh, interview, and I hope that uh, the members that need this type of space will come here. Well, I mean, like, you know, people who, who hear about it, like, actually, how do you promote yourself? Just so um, people know how to get here. Well, you can, well, our address is 563 Spadina Avenue, room 100. Um, we're wheelchair accessible through the back. We go through the back. There's a, a ramp. Um, we're open Monday through Thursday from 11 to 6. Um, that we, you can check out our website. It might be the best way to find out more about the center and think upcoming events. So the website's womenscenter.sa.utoronto.ca. Um, you can call us at 416-978-8201. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Bye.